Hello everyone, my name is Dan Pacheco, Director of Agent Development here at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. And today I am joined by the Taylor Humphrey of also Preferred Real Estate Brokers and also the D Team. That's right. Taylor, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. So I wanted to highlight you and also some of the things that you're doing and what's, uh, what you've done to get successful to this point. Okay. Because a lot of times I feel like agents out there, they get so excited to be in the business, right? And you know, they pass your test and they join the, the right brand and stuff. And then what, right? right? Even if they have a good culture and tools in front of them, sometimes they don't even know how to use the tools, right? And so right. we're gonna talk a little bit about your story because you do represent the new era of, of uh, real estate, right? Definitely. You're fresh, you have a whole new approach to it, and you've also had a tremendous amount of success. Mm -hmm. So talk to us a little bit about what you what got you into real estate, what you wanted to do initially, um, and kind of you know what got you to where you are now. Yeah, so my mom actually has been in real estate for 11 years. Okay. So I kind of followed in her footsteps. I didn't really know what I wanted to do in the beginning, and then I was like, okay, well, I saw she was successful and you know, I kind of grew up around it. So I kind of figured I would give it a try. Um, I joined her brokerage and then I kind of wasn't doing much just because I didn't have much. She was too busy to guide me or help me with anything. Right. Really busy. So she didn't have the time for that. So I was more so a little bit on my own in the beginning. Um, and that's where I met Dan actually at my old brokerage. And then from then out, I did a couple deals here and there, but very little, you know, not much just because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and then finally I knew that I needed to do something that was gonna definitely help with my success. So I followed you to the new brokerage and I joined a team and since then it's been fantastic. That's excellent. Yes. I love the fact that we you know we can stay together and work together because yes. you are very, very good at what you do. Thank you. Right? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, but you know, my job, uh, what a, a part of my job as part of being the agent, uh, director of agent development is to, you know, of course, develop the agents, but sometimes it's also putting them and connecting with them with agents, you know, that can help them out, right? And there's a lot to it. It's not just simply about, hey, this is a great split or whatever it is. It comes down to your specific uh, languages, right, of Definitely. accountability and how it, you know, motivates you and things like that. And so, you know, when you came to me and said you were interested in joining a team or having a mentor, you found both of them in one of our current agents at the time, Deepak Gupta of yes. the D team. And, yes. you know, D told me that he was looking to build his team and stuff. And, you know, he explained it to me, actually showed me the proof behind all the madness out there. And trust me, there is some madness behind it. Uh, but he was able to back it up with stuff that he wrote, right? And it was a, a actual training curriculum that he had. Correct. And he showed me the amount of leads that he had and everything and being you know a lot of times the team that will say oh trust me we have leads but you know they trickle yeah. in this was a, a, a fire hose of leads basically yes. and so that's why I felt comfortable making the connection with you right. and now you're a part of it and you've been doing really well your pipeline is established yes. and it's happening so talk to us about again currently what's going on and you know what, what it's like to be a part of the D team and you know right. how you are empowered through it right um, so right now I've got um, quite a few under contract. I have a 500 plus buyer under contract. Fantastic. Yep. And then I've got a couple other that are a little bit more further down the line just because with COVID, you know, a lot of people kind of put it on hold just because sure. they weren't comfortable with, you know, going out and going to people's homes, especially if they were occupied. Right. Then they weren't necessarily comfortable with that or because of just not knowing about their jobs. So a lot of people kind of stepped back and took a minute to, you know, kind of see how this was going to head, you know what I mean? So, but since then, actually, I have had a couple of people who were waiting that have now resurfaced and are ready, like they're ready to buy, they're, they're getting ready to go. Um, I have a million dollar plus lead who's in Hawaii that he's looking to come That's towards huge. the end of the year. Yes. So it's been really great. Um, all the leads are really great. And yeah, I've been enjoying it and been successful. That's wonderful. Yeah. And, and what, what's it like to actually be a part of the D team? Because one thing that I like a lot too, because D is growing his team, you're growing your team. It's not just him making decisions. The agent, some of the agents that you know we've uh, you know connected to them with, you've been a part of the interview process. Yes. You're betting them too because he also understands too. It's not just his decision. Exactly. He works with you. He trusts you, and again empowers you to be you know an equal in that in that way, right? So what's what's it like you know a day to day? Right. So. Um, on day to day, for example, I'll come in every day of the week, even on the weekends, except for during the weekends, I'm typically at home, of course, but I'll do my calls. Um, I have a certain amount of people that I, you know, I reach out to. I also have reminders, you know, people that I need to follow up with on a certain day or, you know, some information that I need to gather from that person I wasn't able to get in the first place. So I'll come and I'll get all that work done. And then as for the interview, what you were speaking about, yeah, he did, which was nice of him letting me, you know, be a part of it because that is important to allow your team members to have a say sure. in a way, you know, of course he's the leader, but it's nice to have somewhat right. of, you know, an opinion. So yeah, we, I actually, I've interviewed a few people. Um, I actually just interviewed someone yesterday who I absolutely love. 
cool. I fell in love with her, yeah. So she is super, super awesome. So I think that we're going to be bringing her That's on. That's great news. Yes. And I really enjoyed her, yes. That's yeah. awesome. So uh, again, I'm, I, I just have to say I'm so proud of you. I'm very impressed by you because again, you know, I saw, I was there, you know, kind of from the beginning yes, with that. Yeah, you now were. you're doing so much more mm -hmm. um, because of what's around you. And, and again, just you being good at what you do. I mean, it's, I've, I've heard you on the phones. I've heard mm -hmm. you, I've seen how you interact with people. And again, like I said before, at the top of this interview, it's a fresh approach, but fresh doesn't mean, you know, uh, you know, millennial or, you know, uh, whatever generations after that, uh, gen, gen Z, gen right? Z, yes. Whatever I'm saying, you see what I'm saying with that, right? You're very professional still and you, you know your stuff. And I love when those two things compare together. So Taylor, congratulations Thank on your you. success. And I, I know that you'll continue to keep, uh, keeping that up. Thank you for so much for being a part of T uh, Team PRB. And you guys are still looking again for a few more agents, right? Yes, we are, yes. So what's the process look like on how you can you know, grow your team and stuff? How, how, how can they reach out to you? Um, yeah, so you can really reach out to either me or Dee through you know, phone number, email, whatever is easiest. Um, but yeah, we're looking for someone who can be dedicated, you know, they can be held accountable and they're actually looking to work hard and put their all into this, Right. you know, not just something that you want to do on the side, but something that you are legitimately going to commit your time to and want to succeed in. So Love it. that's going to be very important. Right. And yes. also you're looking for that person that, you know, maybe they're a little lost feeling right now. Yes. Right. They yeah. need some guidance. Yes, exactly. Because a lot of people, when they do first join real estate, they are very lost, like you said in the beginning, because it's you know you get your license and then you join a brokerage but then a lot of people think now what you know i'm here you know what is there to do so once you do have the guidance and you have someone there that can help you it makes the biggest difference absolutely you know, someone who can guide you from was there you know has been in the business longer than you have sure. so it makes a big difference if you have someone there to help that's so, wonderful yeah. so maybe if you're out there watching this an agent that's uh, already in the business or thinking about getting into it Check out the D team. They've got a really great culture internally, but even still, if that's not the exact fit for you, prefer to real estate brokers, we have your back yes. with abundance of trainings and uh, again, just a really awesome vibe here. So again, Taylor, thank you so much. D, you're okay. watching this, I'm sure. Thank you so much for creating such an awesome team and movement here with us at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. And we'll see you guys next time. Yes, Thanks thank for you. Bye-bye.